Hello again. In uh, this video we will build the image for our Raspberry Pi. First of all we of course need to download the operating system for it. Uh, you simply open your web browser and you go to the raspberrypi.org website. You click downloads, go to Raspbian, that's the version we will use in uh, this project. Then you are presented with uh, two times two options. The first of all you have a pixel version and a light version. We'll use the pixel version, it's a little bit easier to use than the light alternative. Uh, and then you have two options again, downloading a torrent or downloading a zip. If you don't know what a torrent is, I recommend you to download the zip. If you do know what a torrent is and you do have the proper software installed on your computer to download such a torrent file, then I'd recommend you to use that because it's a lot faster than the zip file. So we just click that. It downloads the torrent file for us. Now we're in our torrent client. We press OK and it starts downloading the file. Now I've already downloaded uh, the file so it's not going to be a lot. It's not going to be a problem at all. We can minimize this now. Mm. Now the downloaded image is in my uh, downloads folder. It's a zip file and you'll need to extract it. I've already done that but just for the sake of tutorials I'll show it to you. You left click the file, you go to WinRAR or any other menu entry that is created by your uh, file archiving uh, software and you click extract here. It's going to extract the image. Now that image is 4.04 uh, gigabytes in size. Uh, next up we take our SD card. Uh, I've already put the micro SD adapter inside the uh, SD adapter itself. Uh, next you slide it in the SD card slot and you go to this computer. Now we'll wait a second for it to pop up. Oh, it's slow today. Ah, there it is. You will need to remember this drive letter. In my case, it's called F. In your case, it might have it might have a totally other name. Next up, we'll need a software tool called Win32 Disk Imager. It's a great tool and it's really simple to use. I'll put the link in the description, but uh, you would want to go to sourceforge.net slash projects slash Win32 Disk Imager. You click download and install the software like you, did, you know, like you do with any other kind of software. Next, you start the program, just type in Win32. It's a portable version I have, so... Voila! This is now the tool that we are going to use. I'm going to close everything else. Um, this is where you insert the correct letter. It's a drop-down menu, so I choose F, I only have one option. If you have a USB uh, st uh, stick attached to your computer, it might show up in there as well, so be careful to select the right device. Next up, we'll click the blue uh, folder. It opens up a Windows Explorer uh, window. We go to our Downloads folder and we select the Raspbian image file. It ends with .img. I double click it. Next you can do read or write. For this, the, the first time we're going to uh, write it to an SD card, we'll want to write it. So we click write. Now it's giving me a warning. It says writing to a physical device can corrupt the device. Target F met with the name SD. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, I'm sure. Click yes and it starts writing. This might uh, take a while. So I'll pause the video here. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, the process is nearly complete. It took about uh, five minutes, I believe. And uh, we should be prompted about the uh, process being completed any moment now. So let's wait for that. It says write successful. If you get uh, any other message and write successful, I'd recommend you to format the SD card and uh, try it again with the same software. 
Okay, so if you are experiencing problems with the uh, micro SD card and you don't have reading access to it, that's because your uh, device or your SD card is locked. So on most of the SD cards you have this simple lock switch. It's on the, in my case, on the left side of the device. And now if uh, the switch is in the upwards position, I have writing access on that SD card meaning that I can modify my uh, micro SD card that's in the adapter. If the lock switch is downwards, it means that I can't uh, modify the SD card and that's when you'll get the error message. So be sure to check that if you've encountered any issues with that uh, device. I hope that clarified uh, everything.